first speaker today will be uh, Mon- Montekin Tamtin. Uh, she's director of the Samutsukorn Coastal Aquaculture Research and Development Centre from the Department of Fisheries in Thailand. Uh, Pam, please go ahead. Thank you so much, and thank you, Professor Patrick Sotilus. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I will talk about the status of the use of artemisia seeds in shrimp and fish hatcheries in Thailand. Next slide, please. The data from Fish Import and Export Control Group of Department of Fisheries reported that the artemisia seeds imported in the year 2019 and 2020s are imported at raw material, which are around 634 and 482 tons. I cut for 14 and 12 dollar million dollars, respectively. And clearly, as high as 90% are imported from China, Russia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, with the small amount, around 10% from the United States. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. This uh, slide, I will be beginning with different types of Artemia products using in the hatcheries, which will focus mainly in shrimp hatcheries followed by using of uh, Artemia seeds in uh, seabed hatcheries. This slide, uh, there are four different types of Artemia, mostly using in a uh, hatchery in Thailand, clearly. And uh, the first one is the dry Artemia seeds, which is uh, the traditional one. And uh, the second one is the raw material packing in uh, five kilograms and uh, per each bag, and it's need to be encapsulated before hatching and fed uh, to the animal. The third one is the dry shell free artemia seeds. This is similar to the second one, but it uh, made from low quality seeds, which is unable to hatch. So after the encapsulation, it will dry and packing in the container uh, for the selling to the, the farmers. And the last one is the chill artemia insta one and two, which uh, the hatching insta one and two will be collected and packing in tray or a box. Next slide, okay. This uh, slide show the number of shrimp hatcheries and grow out farms, uh, which are registered to the Department of Fisheries in the year 2019. As uh, we can see that there are four, around 468 shrimp hatcheries and nursery uh, shrimp uh, hatchery in, in Thailand. And uh, this graph express of the total shrimp post larvae production from the, the hatcheries of the year 2018 and until 2020, which uh, Pinesh Vanamai contributed to as high as 95%. The annual shrimp larvae production are around 66 uh, billion nopii and is, uh, is uh, estimated to be 33 billion of post larvae. Uh, produce uh, in hatcheries in Thailand. Next slide, please. And uh, this, uh, this uh, slide show you that uh, the using of uh, dry artemia seeds uh, in the hatcheries, and this is uh, we we hatching it in a traditional way, like uh, put in the 500 liter tanks, contain 28 uh, ppt of uh, clean sea water. And the hatching density is around uh, one can, which is around uh, 400 or 450 grams per uh, 400 and 450 liters, and providing with aeration uh, continuously for 24 and 30 hours. And then to harvest, the aeration is stopped for 10 minutes before Insta1 will be harvested. The collected Insta1 will be linked with clean fresh water or immerse the larvae in the water for 15 minutes to get rid of uh, debris and uh, mucus uh, in the hatching procedure before uh, keep it in the refrigerator. And this uh, slide show you the different, in different hatcheries, uh, normally they use like a plastic tank or fiberglass tank and uh, put uh, the seeds of artemia in the tank. And they have quite a similar uh, technique uh, among the different hatcheries. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So this is also show you the in uh, different uh, different uh, picture from different hatcheries that the no PI view go down to the tank bottom as the, they has the photo taxis uh, behavior and uh, they will uh, release into the collecting nets and after that they will uh, clean and immerse in the fresh uh, water 
for 15 minutes before keeping the refrigerator. Okay, next slide, please. And uh, now they, they have on the, uh, have the modern hardware too, that uh, there is some company like uh, Zipart Artemia that when uh, they, they have, they can uh, use like a magnetic to uh, attack to the seeds, uh, seed shell of the Artemia. And then the, we get uh, the pipe uh, peel of uh, Artemia Instar 1. And from the, these uh, traditional Artemia seeds, they will rinse the Insta one with a hot water before fed to the early stage of the film larvae, like a suya tree, up to my seed one. And from my seed two up to three onward, they will not rinsing with a hot water. After, and also we found that some farm, they either use like a Insta one so from suya two up to post larva six, which is uh, almost sale to the, to the glow out farm. And uh, they also rinse with hot water prior to feed to the trim. And nowadays in Thailand, uh, they are not uh, doing the enrichment anymore. Just some last farm that they still do the enrichment technique. Next slide, please. Okay. And this is uh, the second one is the chill archimia that uh, are produced by some private company in order to uh, it's, it's quite a convenience to the to the farmer, and uh, they produce the they produce the, this type of artemia from the uh, quite a low uh, quality, uh, low quality both the low quality or maybe a good uh, quality of uh, eggs. But uh, they hatching it and uh, they produce like in star one and in star two, and uh, after that uh, they will pack in the in the tray. And for this one, uh, it's quite good because it can uh, have the quality, it's very consistency and uh, they have the consistency or quality and quantity of the Artemia, which led to predictable of Shimrawa production. And uh, for using, they will rinse Insta1 with the hot water prior to fit to the early stage of the gym larvae. And also for the Insta2, they just clean with fresh water prior to fit directly to the mycid tree. And uh, for enrichment, it depends on the demand of the farmers. Next slide, please. And uh, some farm, uh, we found that uh, they, they use the like a raw material of Artemia seeds and they do the capsulation in their own farm. Like uh, in this infographic, show you the procedure of uh, the capsulation with the common technique. Five kilograms of seeds of Artemia we put in the 200 liters of fresh water. Then four liters of uh, sodium hydroxide is added with the uh, elation for four and four, five hours. But uh, they have to maintain the temperature. It's not uh, higher beyond uh, 30 degrees. After that, uh, they will put uh, 40, uh, up to 50 liters of Corox in the, in the tank. After that, the decapsulation, Artemia seeds with orange color, will be harvest and linked with uh, clean clean water until no more the chlorine order is uh, is appear. After that, they will bring this decapsulated seeds to be hatched with a density of uh, two kilo two kilograms in the tank that uh, uh, contain four hundred and four hundred uh, around four hundred fifty liters with a uh, continuously uh, elation around twenty four hours. After uh, hatching, then uh, they will stop the aeration before collecting and they will feed to the, the larvae. And the last one is chelfree artemia seeds. Uh, they use the low quality of artemia seeds that are not uh, hatching anymore. And uh, this, this type of uh, artemia seeds is uh, much cheaper than the normal, normal one. And they also use sodium hydroxide uh, apply in the decapsulated tank. And then after that, they rinse with the uh, Clorox before dehydrated to the packing. When uh, they use in the quite uh, larger size of the gym larvae, like uh, from post lava five onward. Before using, they need to uh, rinse with the uh, hot water around to, uh, 70 degree in order to hydrate the uh, seeds and also uh, to make it soft and then uh, fit to the gym larva and uh, no enrichment in this method. Next slide, please. So for the enrichment technique, 
in, in the past, uh, Thailand produced uh, penis monodon that uh, they're selling at uh, quite a larger size of port larvae, like a 15 and a port larvae 16. So the enrichment is significant effect to the chim larval performance. And they use quite a long period of enrichment, like 24 hours for the instar one with the lipid emulsion and uh, vitamins. However, uh, at present, at, uh, we know that uh, we have like a 95% production of Vanamai and uh, they're selling at uh, post lava 10 visit the chapter period. So enlistment is not uh, necessary anymore. It's some farm that like a large farm, they do enlistment, they just do quite a short duration. Like uh, they put a uh, vitamin and lipid dimension and keep the artemia in the refrigerator for only two or three hours before using next like this. And this is just some light of a feeding program because in, in, in Thailand hatcheries now, the what they use, it depends on the cost effective and also for the, for the, uh, the quality of the artemia. For the Insta one that I show you in the, the two uh, row is from the traditional uh, dry atomiasis. Normally they rinse with hot water at the early stage. And then for a the larger, larger state of the post lava, they will not uh, rinse with the hot water. For the shoe atomia, they use like uh, Insta1, the same, they also rinse with the hot water. And for the bigger one, like Insta2, they just uh, rinse with the fresh water. And if the farm that use the chair free artemia seeds, they will fit to the post larvae fire, uh, like a post larvae fire onward and links with hot water just to hydrate and make it soft. Some farm they do also combination with a uh, shield install one. And also uh, when the bigger, they use the dye seeds uh, and have in their own farm and fit to a post larvae six onward. Next slide, please. And this uh, to show the difference between uh, large scale hatchery, medium scale, and small scale. For the large scale, they uh, prefer to use two artemia insta one and two because they can uh, control the quality and also the quantity, as I told you before. And they might uh, use just some 10% uh, of traditional dry artemia seeds. For the medium, they will. Uh, uh, use maybe 100% uh, of the traditional dry atomic seeds and uh, also now they use like uh, seeds from uh, China, especially in the Eastern hatcheries. And some, uh, they will also use 40% uh, of shoe atomia in star one and two. But for the small scale hatcheries, they are still using uh, only traditional dry atomia seeds. Next slide, please. And uh, this last slide, uh, in Thailand now, they try to reduce the cost of uh, sea bass production. So normally from the traditional feeding stream, they, produce, uh, they feed uh, the fish larvae with uh, lotifer, archimia, copy pot, minced fish, and artificial diet. And they didn't, uh, nowadays they use artemia uh, only two days. After that, they will use the zooplankton from earthen pond like a lotifer, moina, daphnia, copy pot in the mixture in order to reduce the production cost, just some farm that they use this, okay. And uh, finally, I would like to thank you, Mr. Sumbersong, he's the chairman of Seed Aquaculture Craft, and uh, Mr. Adun, the director, that uh, they provide some uh, information for me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.